Hello, I am Dylan Mayfield and I work for Special Olympics Missouri. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank you for letting me speak on behalf of Special Olympics. Um, MASC and Special Olympics have been a partner for over 25 years and it is one of my um, favorite partners that we have just because it holds a special place to my heart. Um, MASC helps SOMO in so many ways from fundraising for our polar plunges all around the state to our countless hours to the countless volunteer hours that you guys give us um, at all of our events. Um, myself and our 16,000 athletes cannot thank you enough for all of the stuff that you do for us. Um, like I said, this partnership holds a special place in my heart. Um, since I was 10 years old, I have been a unified partner in Special Olympics. Um, going into high school, Special Olympics was always a big part. Um, and then I had to try and balance that time between Special Olympics and Student Council. Um, two things that I've loved um, since then. Um, I love that I get to be able to work with both Special Olympics and Student Council still. Um, that kind of leads us into what I want to talk to you guys about today. Um, I recently changed my seat on the SOMO bus um, and I am now going to be focusing on um, the Unified Champion Schools in Missouri. So the Unified Champion Schools are fully unified schools, inclusive schools. Um, they are based on three pillars. Um, the first being unified sports, second, whole school engagement, and then third, inclusive youth leadership. Um, now being unified champion school is a wonderful thing. You create an inclusive environment that everyone can be a part of. Um, when you believe that you have all of these things, the three pillars I just mentioned, you can apply for two things. The first being um, the School of Character, which is something that MASC and Special Olympics created back in 2014 as a way to recognize their level of commitment to the Special Olympics movement. The other thing that you can apply for is the National Banner Program. Part of becoming a National Banner Program and School of Character um, is that they go hand in hand. Um, the goal for these things are to create an inclusive environment in schools. Um, the National Banner Schools are nationally recognized and even ESPN picks a select few to showcase um, on their shows. These are huge honors and Missouri has only had one banner school. The School of Character is an outline of what the National Banner School is looking for. Um, so they both go off of the three banners that I mentioned before. Um, the School of Character is um, just one part that they're looking for and then um, the National Banner program goes more in depth with what they're looking for. Um, I will explain kind of what that is later on. Um, so let me break down each pillar for you guys and um, exactly what we're looking for. So like I mentioned, the first pillar is unified sports. So um, the School of Character, um, we're looking for just to have a program in your school. Um, like I said, the National Banner Program goes more in depth with what they're looking for. Um, so what they are looking for are two seasons of unified sports. Um, they are looking for an adult who is certified in unified sports. And then the last being a unified sports is that unified sports is officially recognized by the school in a similar style to what other sports are um, recognized by. For example, um, that could be giving uh, the athletes in your unified program a varsity letter. Um, and I know the things that they're asking for may sound like a lot, but um, if you break it down, it sounds a little better. Um, so we don't want people to create a unified uh, program and get nationally recognized and then don't do it again. Um, that's kind of why we're looking for more than just one season, you know, two seasons, three seasons shows that um, you're really for the movement. Um, the coach being certified, all special mix coaches um, need to be certified. So uh, that's just a, another step that we ask for our coaches. Um, and then lastly, the school being an inclusive school. So treating your unified team just like any other team, um, it's just the right thing to do. Um, the next pillar would be an inclusive youth leadership. Um, for the School of Character, we're looking for you to have a unified club. Um, what that means is a club for students with and without intellectual disabilities. Um, you guys can do whatever you want, um, come together for sports, games, community service, um, school events, but most of all, just have fun. Um, the National Banner Program adds on that they're looking for the group to meet at least um, once per month throughout the school year. They are looking for the group to have an adult liaison 
um, and is officially recognized by the school in a similar style to other um, clubs that are in your school. The cool thing is that you don't have to create a new club or anything. You can make your student council a unified club. Um, really, what we are looking for are athletes to help make changes and plan things in the school. The third and last pillar is to host a whole school engagement activity. This could be a Play Unified Day, a SOMO event that all the students are able to have a chance to volunteer, pep rally that includes SOMO teams, um, spread the word, the end the word campaigns, respect week, um, really anything that is promoting the school to be an inclusive, inclusive environment. Um, the only thing different between the School of Character and the National Banner Program is that we are asking those or the National Banner Program is asking for those with and without intellectual disabilities to be working together to help plan the event. These events are always a fun day um, that's really fun for everyone. Um, uh, you can see it bring the school together like nothing else. Um, as you can see, the School of Character is a building block to becoming a National Banner School. Um, there is an application for the School of Character. Um, we have everything that we are looking for. Um, and then on there we have things called enhancement opportunities. Um, that's everything I just covered from the national banner side. Um, that way you can see how close you are to achieving the national banner recognition um, and receiving that banner. Um, something that the national banner program is looking for is for these unified and inclusive e events to be self-sustainable. They want to know that these events um, will be changes to the school and keep going for years to come. Um, is there a way that it can become part of the booster program? Is it budgeted into the school next year? Um, can you do fundraisers to raise money? These are all things to consider um, when applying and to keep your inclusive environment going. Um, so when you apply for the School of Character, we're like uh, all the activities that you do. Based on how many of the activities you do, you receive points. These either uh, these points earn you either gold, silver, or bronze recognition, and each of those comes with their own incentive. In addition to those, we also have the highest level that a school can get um, is the award of merit. This is given to only one qualifying school who displays outstanding commitment to individuals with intellectual disabilities, a true understanding of unity, and a passion for raising awareness and funds for local SOMO athletes. When you're trying to get ideas of something that you do, uh, something to do, or some resources, don't be afraid to reach out um, to SOMO. We have our headquarters office in Jeff City, along with local offices in the St. Louis area, Kansas City, um, Southeast, Southwest, and North area. Um, so they're all around. We are all willing to help you with anything that you are wanting to do. Um, you can bounce ideas off of us or ask us to come check out your event. Um, we always love to know what's going on at your school. Now, if you're wanting to apply or get more information on the banner program or school of character, you can email myself at mayfield at somo.org. That's M-A-Y-F-I-E-L-D at S-O-M-O dot org. Um, I will be your point of contact if you're wanting to become a unified school or host a one-day event such as a um, Play Unified Day or an Inclusion Revolution. Um, I would like to thank you again for letting me speak to you on behalf of Special Olympics Missouri and continue to lead with gusto.